Hi everyone, my name is Vera from DealMama.com and today is our third video of the series on how to coupon. So today we're going to talk about um, stacking coupons. Um, I get a lot of questions about this so I'm going to go through the stores to and explain to you what each store does. So uh, stacking coupons means that you're able to stack a store coupon along with a uh, manufacturer coupon. Now manufacturer coupons are the ones that come inside of your inserts and there are stores that have digital coupons that are also manufacturer coupons. So you have to look out for that also. So we're gonna start with CVS because I find that it's the easiest for beginners to start with because they don't have so many rules. So with CVS, you can stack coupons with uh, manufacturer coupons with store coupons. Now, store coupons are the um, coupons that come out of the red box machine. So when you first walk into CVS, there should be a red machine. Uh, some people have a blue machine, which I only found one person who actually has a blue machine and she showed it to me. So uh, when you scan your extra care card, which is their store loyalty card, you're gonna get a printout of a whole bunch of coupons. And those are store coupons. You could also find them on the app. It'll say that it's a store coupon or it's a percentage off. And those are their store coupons. You can use them in conjunction to manufacture coupons. So let's put something into an example for you. Um, let's say I'm buying Big Pens. Uh, there is a dollar off manufacturer coupon for Big Pens, which there's not. I'm just using it as an example. And inside of the red machine, when you scan your loyalty card, it came print out for $3 off 15. So you can th use those in conjunction. Now, what you wanna watch out for is when you're stacking coupons about your limits on your manufacturer coupons. Let me show you real quick. I know it's a little bit inverted. So on the bottom, there is verbiage. And I'm just gonna use this one for example. It says, limit one coupon per purchase of specified product. Limit one coupon per purchase means one item, one coupon. So then the second part por portion of it says, limit of two identical coupons in the same transaction. So for this specific coupon, I can only use two in my one transaction. So I'm gonna buy two items and I can use two coupons to go along with this item. Plus I can use my store coupon in conjunction. So that is for uh, CVS, that's their policy for it. So the next thing, next store I wanna talk about is um, uh, Rite Aid. Rite Aid also has store coupons. They have in-ad coupons, which are store coupons, and um, they're, they have digital coupons, but they're mostly manufacturer coupons. But if you find an in-ad coupon, you can use it together. Um, it's, you can also use at Rite Aid, you can use the register rewards. They're Catalinas, I don't have one next to me. Oh, yes I do. They're Catalinas that print out at the register. This is from Walgreens, so, <coughs> excuse me. You can use that along with your manufacturer coupon. Um, stores like Walgreens, they have a coupon booklet. When you walk into Walgreens, they have a, a portion right in the front where you can find the ad, and underneath it, you'll find like a thin booklet. It's their Walgreens booklet. Now, you those are store coupons. So same concept, you can use a manufacturer coupon with a store coupon. So if you're buying, let's say, two Scott toilet papers, you're going to use um, two manufacturer coupons for whatever amount of quantity off of your for your manufacturer coupon, and then you're gonna have them scan the booklet and it'll take off for both products. Um, Walgreens a little bit tricky with their apps. Their digital coupons are most 90, I'll say 95% are digital uh, manufacturer coupons. So you just have to be careful with that. Uh, stores like Target. Target has an app called Cartwheel. And <clears throat> this is where Target is really good because only about 2% of their 
digital cartwheels are manufacturer coupons. The rest are store coupons. And it'll list it on there that it's manufacturer coupon and those you can't stack together along with it. So you can do um, a manufacturer coupon along with your cartwheel coupon. So that's also really nice. Uh, stores like Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, and Walmart, you don't, there's no stacking coupons there. Walmart doesn't have any of their, their own store coupons, neither do Dollar Tree. Uh, Family Dollar, they, all of their digital coupons are manufacturer coupons. So if you are just starting out and you don't have the paper yet, Family Dollar is a really nice place to start and same with Dollar General. Now what you have to be careful for is those digital coupons not coming off. Dollar General, me personally, I've seen a lot of people in my groups who all have issues with their digital coupons coming off. So once it prints out, you'll see it. Don't leave the store. Make sure all of your discounts and your digitals came off. If not, you can always call a manager over, have them check it out and see what's going on. Um, so that's basically the gist of when you're, for the major stores, when it comes to grocery stores is a little bit different. Every store has their own policy, their own digital coupons. You would just need to um, go to customer service and talk to them, ask them what their coupon policy is. Most stores have digital coupons. Me in my area, I have a shop, right? So you can use their digital coupons along with manufacturer coupons because all of their um, app coupons are all digitals. They're all um, store coupons. So each store has their own policy. You just have to either check online or go in the store and ask them about it. Most of them know their own policies, obviously. So guys, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And if you want to check out the site, it's dealmama.com. Guys, have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for our next video. Bye-bye.